So we need to talk today about something kind of obvious, the YouTube algorithm and predictions. Oh God. Money making content on YouTube slaps. It really does. This is why I do from time to time. However, there's people that use it to abuse it. And we're going to talk about the types of videos to look out for, but we're going to debunk how to do price predictions properly, the correct way, the right way. I'm going to show you a very, very simple profit taking method using the Fibonacci retracement tool as an extension. I'm also going to show you how multiples can be used to find liquidity, big word, I know, for your assets. So you know if it's realistic or not. Don't forget, I now do exclusive live streams on Twitch. There's a link below Tuesdays and Fridays. You'll see me there. Now, one of these methods I'm going to show you is all about blue sky breakouts. When it goes above all time high, what do you do? Where do you go? Where can the market makers take their profits? Well, I'm going to show you that side of it. As I said before as well, I'm going to show you a tool where you can see realistic numbers in terms of market capitalization to see, hold on a minute, is this genuinely possible? Are we going to see an XRP at $50 trillion? Probably not. Sorry, XRP fans, but there has to be liquidity for you to then sell into regardless. So yeah, this video is going to be debunking the YouTube algorithm a little bit in terms of what people do, why they make certain videos such as, oh, you only need 10 XRP to retire in 2035 or whatever stupid things that they come out with at the time. So yeah, I hope this majorly helps. If you want more of my videos, by the way, check out Patreon. I do four extras. So here we are. We're on the screen. Hello. We are looking at YouTube and YouTube does my brain in. Does my brain in. Mashed potato, literally. Right. So you can see here how much Ethereum you need to retire. It's less than you think. What? Eh? Why? Who? Doesn't make any sense, right? So a lot of these are just stupidly mental, right? And this is just me putting in price predictions crypto. You can see as well on the shorts, like certain numbers and random stuff. Like they're all round numbers, like they are current price and $350 for Solana, for example, $8 for XRP. Sorry, guys, most of them are bullshit. They just say whatever they want, right? Yes, I've been privy to doing some price fiction myself, but I use a Fibonacci to try and give you some realism. But some people don't. Look at that. 10,000 Hedra hash bar will be worth by whatever in 2015. Uh, 2015, 20, 2025. There we go. All these numbers hurt my brain, but they're all big channels that do it. All the big channels because the money side of it and money making content on YouTube slaps really hard, right? It's good. This is why I've been doing my undervalued little playlist to kind of give you that incentive to show you that it does work. Hence why I will be doing prediction videos properly with a degree of realism. Hence this video. So this video, series part number one. So if you're new around here, please subscribe, hit that bell button so you're notified. Because if you're looking on YouTube and you are getting absolutely blurred and FOMO by some nugget telling you, oh, it's going to go to, Carolina's going to go to $55. And then you're looking at it thinking, oh, my son, probably isn't. So bear that in mind. Right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we really need, what we need. There's two things you need. You need a chart, trading view, link below to trading view. You cannot do this on CoinMarketCap, by the way. It's a bit too mental. Any asset, doesn't matter what asset. Now, problem with this, if it's too new, it won't work. If it's got enough data, it will work. So not every asset, obviously. So don't do this with something that's just got released last week. Let's look at Polkadot as an example. Full chart, go to the higher time frames, weekly or monthly, it doesn't matter. Personally, the monthly gives you a good degree of information, right? You can see what's happened here. Bull market, correction, market top, correction down, right? We need to find out price predictions and profit taking levels using the correct mechanism. For me, structure. Fibonacci structure is a good one. So you got traditional, which is levels of support or resistance, right? Level here, $12, because it's bounce off it. Level here, because it's bounce off it, 16. Another one here, about 23. Another one here, probably about 30, 31. They're traditional, right? But the other one that I like to use is Fibonacci. You need to learn how to do this. Now, I do an educational company. You know this. I teach. I've been teaching for a while. 
I teach you that on this course. So link below to learning crypto. It helpful. There's also a free article on there. If you don't want to, you know, do a course, there's a free article on the website too. You need to go from the swing high to the bottom of said market, right? Right to the bottom. Right there. Voila. Gusti. Now, you can see what I said before. I said $16. I said $23. I said roughly $30. Obviously, there's ones higher too. Kind of obvious. These are levels of interest where you individually can take profits if we start going at that level. If you fail to plan in your investments, you will not be taking profit correctly and you won't be making money because you will want more. You will always want more and you will try and make more. But sometimes it's good to take a little bit off at each interval to secure the bag. It works. Trust me. No one goes broke taking profit, right? And I know I'm going to get some knobhead in the chat going, but what about taxes? I'm not doing it because of taxes. Stop investing. Simple. Go and work, pay your taxes. Don't invest to make more money because of taxes. Doesn't make sense, right? So just bear that in mind. Now, that's the realism side of it, right? These are the levels. However, you can see up here there is an extension level. There's multiple extension levels on here, and I will show you how to set this up in a second. When you go above a all-time high, which for some things, unlikely, for some things, possible. It's a game of probability. But when it happens, you need to know something. Where the fuck do I take my profits, right? So when you then zoom out and go, whoomph, you got extension levels that you can use. I like the 1.272 and all of the 1 .6, uh, all 618 levels. So 1.618 and then the 2.618 and then the 3.618 and then the 4618, right? Obviously, with a degree of realism, you're going to probably discount the $240 one, probably the $188 one. You may well entertain the $137 one. But for me, if I'm looking at taking profits, it'll be around this sort of figure. Let's be fair. If you buy it now, you're going to make a lot of money, right? So that's how to do the simple side. I want to show you something else though, very, very quickly before we go on. Now, let me just show you this. Let me just remove all this noise because I've just been, you know, Patreon updates. If you want to join Patreon, think below. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the past. Why is a Fibonacci so good? It works. Now, I want to tell you this before we go on, so I don't bamboozle you. Do not use a log scale. No need to. Not required. Don't need to do it. Some people will do an Elliott Wave kind of thing, a fractal, on log scale, and they go, oh, Bitcoin, next cycle, 1.8 million. Eh? No. Why doesn't that work? Too many people in crypto just look at the technical analysis. They don't look at the network effect, the mining hash rate, the difficulty adjustment, liquidity, all that stuff. They just look at the charts and go, hey, hey. What? Right. So previous high on the previous cycle, go into the all the way to the bottom floor of the market. Look at where that level went to. 3.618. It pretty much stopped and turned around and turned around. And obviously, turn around and turn around, it's double. You get the idea, right? But when I then zoom across and just do this, this is why I want to show you the power of weird mathematical formulas with the Fibonacci and how it works. If I just zoom this all the way across so we can see it, look at the structure integrity. I've cocked that up. There we go. Put it on the right one. So the swing low there, roughly around three grand, and the swing high, right? Obviously, vroom, rocket, boom, off we go, son. Cool. Impulsed, found this level of support, went up again. Impulsed, found around that level of support, went up again. Right on the turd, literally on the tit, tapped it. Melted back down, hit that level of support, created a lower high, and then melted all the way down to the 1.618. Huge. Pull back up from there. Look at how these levels are respected. Massive, right? So you can see where the market turned around. Um, not to kind of make you kind of obvious, but look at my old content in October, November time, 2021. I was telling people this time is different. This time is not different. This time is obvious. People will be taking profits at these levels, right? The market turded itself, right? And I know a lot of people are like, oh, super cycle, super cycle. But I was looking at that thinking, if it doesn't get through there, and it really doesn't get through there, it's candles out. They've gone, they've blown out, right? 
And again, you can see this impulse right down to the level of, of resistance melted. And look where we went to. Vroom. Look at where we are right now. Look at where we rejected off that 30,500. Oh, oh, I jizzed. It's mental, right? So it's really good. It really works. So that's giving you some context of how important the Fibonacci is. You might be going through some old assets and looking at certain things and thinking, wow, what could happen? So let's go back in time again, back to that dot chart, right? Why? Because if we're looking at this, right, and looking at the information here, we may well find that $16, 23, 35, 44 could be huge levels of interest for the future. This will only be invalidated if we go lower than $4.17 or $4.20, whatever the, the all time low was, because that's a new structure point. Then you pull it back down to that one, right? Get the idea? Good. Right. I've told you how to do price predictions. We're going to do them realistically in other videos, but there's one thing I need to do before I go. Remember I said these buggers will be here. Well, you need to go into a website called The Coin Perspective, right? Beautiful website, free to use. Put in Polkadot, right? You're looking for price targets. So let's just say, what was it, $89? Is that correct? I can't remember. 86. I was close. You don't win if you get close enough. So you can see that that's a 13x. That is a $105 billion market cap. Probably okay. It will probably survive that kind of situation. But let's talk about the top one. Now, this is where I want to make it very clear. Very clear. Some people will be telling you that, oh, Polkadot Fractal is going to go up to $240. Go all in. Buy now. But those rumblings will get louder and louder as this goes higher. So if you're watching this video right now, you don't have to worry too much. If you're watching this video, maybe if this video goes viral and bangs, and let's just say Bitcoin is whatever price and Polkadot, due to the result of that, is currently $55. And you're going to get all the videos in the world telling you, Polkadot's cheap, it's going to go up to $100, it's going to go to 250 it's going to go up to fucking $1,000, way! Get it, right? People would. Now, at $240, yeah, it looks great on paper. When I put this number in, you're going to go, ooh, of course, man. But do you really see a 300 billion market cap dot in the next two to three years? Probably not. I am one of the biggest Polkadot bulls going, right? But... It's network effect, it's time in the market, it's going to take time. That is competing with the level of Ethereum. Maybe, maybe, yes, in the future, 10 years down the line, who knows. But markets go up, markets go down. Try not to get caught. This is why I keep saying to people, take profits. There's no harm in taking profits at each individual level. Because you all know what's going to happen. If I put in here, price, oh dear, I cannot speak and type. Price predictions dot. You're going to see a lot of 50 X's already. There you go. Two months ago. Buy and hold a thousand. All these kind of stuff look like $200. Like it's all to capture you. It's all to get you in. And it's huge. It's a huge pull for someone new looking to escape the rat race to make money. This is why I'm trying to do content like this to try and show you where it's going. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's absolutely bucketing down outside. Oh, to live where I live. Lovely. So, as you can imagine, people will get a bit excited about all this, and you can see why people will make content and it will slap. So, I hope you enjoy a longer, random video. I wasn't expecting to do this a bit as a big video, but I got a bit excited. If you're new around here, like the video, obviously. It really helps. Subscribe. Check me out on Twitch exclusive live streams. They are freaking awesome on Twitch, much better than YouTube. See you later.